Can I put you? Can I put you on YouTube? Huh? Can I put you on YouTube? No. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. You're already on YouTube <laughs> everywhere. I see you. Hey guys. It's Tom Mabe. It's Tom Mabe uh, from Kansas City, Missouri. Well, guys, today it's 7:32, and today is uh, October 21st, 2015. So, for all my nerds out there. Happy Back to the Future Day. I think that's a movie everybody loves, but I'm in Kansas City right now, and I gotta get to Louisville today. My flight leaves at nine o'clock, so let's get to it. Super excited. Yeah. Be, be can I put you can I put you on YouTube? Huh? Can I put you on YouTube? No. Yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> You're already on YouTube <laughs> everywhere. I see you. Hey guys. It's Tom Mabe. It's Tom Mabe. Uh, from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Randy yes. Miller. Remember <laughs> Randy Miller back in Kansas City? The first radio station I ever did. That's awesome. Well, welcome to Louisville. That's my hometown. I live here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, I got it. We're good. We're good. Awesome. Nice, nice to meet you. Johnny Dare, Johnny Dare still in Kansas City? I think so. Yeah. Look at you, look at this guy. <laughs> you work out, you got a good board going on. That's awesome. Right. Dude, I appreciate I, it. I gotta learn how to put my, uh, one of my camera guys brought one to work. Do you wanna try it? Uh, I don't know because I, I need a help. You don't wanna, yeah, okay. Has he, have you done it? Yeah. Are you good at it? No. No, I fail and I need to, I need to wrap myself up in phone wrap. Yeah. A couple like, twin size mattresses <laughs> but I'm like doing this and I mean I buy my skateboarder I'm like a real if you look at uh, look at the baby uh, babysitter prank yeah I'm like, I used to be a pro skateboarder but I cannot I think I'm, as I get older my mind is like oh you're gonna, you're gonna break something you know <laughs> what your awesome name? Uh, Blake Blake like Blake, Blake Shelton yeah yeah right, Tom May Piss yep see you later what do y'all do in the uh, GIE Expo for G. lawn Joe. care. You got a Joe Expo. Right. GIE Joe. We'll see you guys. Are you filming a prank? I'm actually my, my friends. These are my friends and man. I'm just dancing. Oh, okay. Film, so. Alrighty. Gotta get out of the house. <laughs> see you later. What's going on? Just well, I've been in here in Louisville, Kentucky for a few hours now. It's been pretty cool. We went and ate, uh, got to meet a bunch of people. Huh. A couple people came up to me, said hi. Got to meet Tom May, which was ridiculous. Uh, he was here at GIE concert recording uh, his friends that were playing. The, the, that was the free concert for the GIE Expo. Um, so I was downstairs by a fire pit we had here at the hotel, and um, there were two guys that worked for Pepsi, like in the corporate world, uh, pretty high up in Pepsi. Talked to them for probably two hours. And then I talked to, uh, there were two people, and then another one came at the end from the largest lawn care company, landscape company in the United States. Maybe the world, I don't know, I, but I'm pretty sure he said the United States. He said there were two point, 
uh, 2.5 billion dollars. They're the largest lawn care company in the United States and they only have 4% market share. That means people like you and I are the other 96% in this lawn care industry. That's huge. That company's worth $2 billion. And they're worth 4% of the market share. That's incredible. Um, my mom was down there with me and I said, like that is literally the information that I got from talking to those four or five people was literally worth it coming down here to Louisville, Kentucky. It was ridiculous. This guy was the uh, the guy that oversees that talks to these individual companies. I think they use they use Ford, they use um, John Deere and uh, Xmark. I think they used to use Skags, but now those are their two mowers, Xmark and uh, John Deere. He gets those prices. He was telling me, uh, he asked me how much I paid for my Skags. I told him $8,500 and he said that that company would get them for uh, $5,500. So that's just how big of a thing. I think they said uh, 8,800 trucks in service right now every day. So they have uh, 8,800 lawn care setups. That is ridiculous. They're a franchise company. He was uh, just telling me like literally um, anybody can buy their franchise, which would be putting your their name on your trucks and you be a franchisee for that company. You'd get um, some commercial accounts that, that, that not every, the average Joe can get because they have that national name behind them. Um, talking to the Pepsi guys, uh, it was just so, I, I wish I was recording it, I wish I could have recorded the whole conversation, but it was just one of those things that just sitting around a fire with, with business people in the real world, in the corporate world, in, in the lawn care industry, the biggest lawn care company in the United States, and they went out there to smoke a cigarette, I went out there, my mom wanted to go see the fire, and that was a experience that changed Man, that could change my life, the, the, the conversation that we had. And uh, it's incredible. So if those guys ever see this video, I appreciate you, uh, you talking and being so cool. They really loved what I was doing. Um, and I just learned so much from them. <clears throat> and it was very cool. So I met a ton of people. I haven't even been to the GIE Expo yet. Just in the town, I've met uh, Tom Mabe, a famous YouTube prankster. Uh, my subscribers, I've met some subscribers here. Um, met some people from the world's, or the United States' largest lawn and landscape company. And two guys from the corporate world that taught me uh, so much. So, you know, in the few hours that I've been here, it has paid off and I haven't even seen the GIE Expo yet. So. That's, that's my experience today. It's phenomenal. I can't promise you you're going to have that experience, but I'm just telling you, man oh man, I, the quote that I said the other day, if you continue doing the same thing, you're going to continue getting the same results. If I would have never came out to the GIE, I wouldn't learn the stuff I just learned or learn the stuff that I'm going to learn at the actual expo. So, wow, 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 that quote is coming to life. And if you're still, you're still rolling with, a, with an old mower and trying to make it, but you're too scared to get on uh, Instagram, you're too scared to get on Snapchat and Periscope, uh, maybe make a YouTube video, uh, too scared to go talk to people, too scared to change your ways, too scared to, to uh, come to the GIE, I don't know what it is, what you need to change or what that's gonna be, but you're gonna continue getting the same exact results. Oh my gosh, it's just mind blowing that, that that whole thing from happened, I mean, that is like goals, my goals. And I mean, this guy literally was a top guy in the largest lawn care company in the United States.
That's crazy. So, man, it's nuts, crazy day. I really, I can't even explain it, but I'm gonna have a whole GIE Expo vlog, and that's just a lot. It's a lot to happen in a day, and wow, I am so thankful that it happened, and I'm so thankful that I came out here to Louisville, Kentucky. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. The one thing the two people in the corporate world said they wish they would have done is go into business for themselves. They said that that is the only job security that you have here in the world now. They said even in the corporate world, working for Pepsi, Pepsi, in every store, in every restaurant, in everything in, in the world, that corporation, they said there's no job security in there. They said every Christmas that they fear for their job, they don't know if they're gonna have that job. So they, they, they say they don't even, they don't go all out buying Christmas gifts because they don't know if they're gonna have a job and be able to pay their bills. They said, they said that, both of them. They said they wish if they could go back, they would go into business themselves, doing what they love. So if you love lawn care, push for it, go for it, and go for your dreams. Because I get questions on here, people asking, what if I get made fun of? Listen, guys, this guy is, is a, there was a guy, a product manager, uh, um, uh, an equipment manager for a business, a lawn care company worth $2.6 billion. No, that is mind blowing. So whoever, just, you should bust them out. That the person that saying that doesn't matter a lick. Period. I just have to get that out there. We'll see ya.